Hi, this is Shadi, and today we're gonna be looking at an old UFC fight, particularly UFC 7 Judo versus Okinawan Karate. This fight is very important in my opinion because it shows the classical sequence of Judo and how it can dominate a striker or someone that's not at the same level of grappling as the other person. So, uh, also it reflective of the past but at the same time our present so uh, that fight it is somewhere stuck in the middle reflecting the past and its future which is now our present so this fight is very important in my opinion and we're gonna go through it together so the fight that we're gonna see is your uh, Pardell versus Parker fight Pardell judo jiu-jitsu versus Parker an American karate fighter so here from the very beginning closing the distance which puts you in a very safe place as a, a grappler so here you see he is hooking the leg the far leg and then tries to switch to the other one this is something uh, grapplers have done from the very beginning uh, putting someone's back against uh, the ropes or the cage and then taking them down with a ko soto gake you see hoist has done it and here you see uh, one of the greats fedor also doing it but Pardell rotates for a turn throw and finishing it off with Koshi Guruma uh, or a hip wheel. Um, very classical throw as well. Works all the time in any uh, context, any folk style wrestling that allows you to let go of the belt uh, or any garment. So here you see a demonstration of the Kodokan uh, of Koshi Guruma. You load on the hips and then wheel them over using their own head and here he lands in a perfect position of the uh, Kesagatame and here you can see a head and arm uh, hold or scarf hold and he's locking the the arm with the thigh or the back of the knee so which makes it a Hizagatame let's see it in a little bit more detail so here you are in Kesagatame you stretch out the arm and then you lock it with the back of your knee hence why it is called Hizagatame or knee hold you're holding it with the back of your knee against your own thigh and then uh, locking the elbow and getting the tap. So uh, you can also get Kesagatame not only from a throw but also a passing position as you can see here the great Ronda Rousey doing ground and pound from Kesagatame similar to Pardell and here he's doing a Hisa Gatame trying to get the tap but does not actually get it so switches to classical Kesagatame. So here you can see he is uh, maintaining full mount from this position uh, he has his hand behind the neck trying to choke out from what it seems to be like a katate a jime or like grabbing the lapel and sinking the uh, forearm into the throat but does not get it but here he does get like a sode guru majime gripping his own sleeve and then passing the hand behind the neck getting the choke here you can see a kodokan demonstration of it gripping your own sleeve and then doing like a rear naked choke uh, maneuver but you're closing in with your hands and using the sleeve as a support and you know scissoring the neck basically it's not so much like the rear naked choke where you are actually stressing uh, the carotid arteries or putting pressure on them so uh, the other one goes unconscious this is much different in my opinion although looks similar as if it's like a Rear naked choke with the gi, but it's not. Um, this is so the guruma jime. You also have katate jime from the position that Pardel was in. Katate jime, single hand uh, choke. So you grab as he was here from mount, and then you sink your forearm in, uh, choking them, not strangling them. Strangling is when you block the blood flow to the head, but choke is when you actually put pressure on the windpipe and blocking the air into the lungs so uh, this is from Austin Sen's video now as you see mount pressure is real and as Pardell demonstrated it it is something he held it on for minutes on end in that fight and here Gordon Ryan today is finishing off opponents just from sheer mount pressure alone here you see from uh, Shoa Noata's book from the uh, turn of the century the early 20th century she demonstrates that this is a technique used for suffocation so uh, suffocating people from mount is nothing new um, 
although not a lot of people get a lot of taps but if you know how to employ it and use your weight correctly as Gordon Ryan does you can easily uh, get the suffocation so um, the book states that it is the water moon that you are pressuring here you can see it uh, in front of you it's what we call the solar plexus and indeed if it's hit correctly like by Karateka you would know that they would lose their air out and it's considered a KO or you, if you pressure it the person would suffocate so the technique is called umano nori katame or horseback uh, hold not so much grip um uma is horse no nori which is the verb of riding and katame is hold there is also here you see um uh, resuscitation techniques for it so indeed it does suffocate uh, someone and resuscitation techniques are very common to learn after you're grappling in case someone does go unconscious so the book that you just saw this from is Fujin Goshin Jutsu or self-defense for women uh, you see these are strictly grappling techniques very efficient again by Nohata Showa and, um, the link uh, for the book is in the description below translated by Eric Shehan so um, it's a uh, it's very important to know from this video like the mount pressure that you saw i cannot show the entire sequence because of course this is copyrighted material by the ufc uh, i'm making this transformative content uh, legal under fair use law so i cannot use the entirety of the footage and just narrate over it um, it does not belong to me i cannot do that all the time so um, the thing is with this uh, mount you can easily find it on uh, youtube just type uh, Okinawan Karate versus Judo and you see that he held that mount for a long time and created a lot of pressure the moment he got that choke in it just he gets tapped so but if you are even better grappler on the ground you can see that you can get them to just uh, relinquish the fight as Gordon Ryan has been doing recently so um, here you see the classical old uh, mount from the Kodokan you see the hooking of the leg like Gordon Ryan you see the pressuring of the arm against the head sinking your weight down and that's how you get them to submit basically so the last decade has been a decade of flashy barambolos rubber guards and flashy leg lock games but here you see um, Gordon Ryan just bringing us back to how the basics alone can be just absolutely brutal and murderous although there is uh, people you know attacking his character which is very fair but when it comes to technique he is bringing back this idea from the Nohata Showa days up until now we can still see that the fundamentals are not only eternal but they're the best for you to keep in mind when fighting so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below this was Shady and thank you for listening